Drop. Hey guys. First of all, I just wanted to apologize for not uploading any content in a while. It's been a pretty hectic couple of months, but I have been working on some music to cover for it. But I think I'm due for a couple of tutorials. So today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to properly set up a microphone through FL Studio using an ACO driver. If I'm being honest here, there's so many shit tutorials on how to set a mic up. There's, there's some all right tutorials, but most of them are pretty shit. How to make a Temanite style carrier base and how to modulate it live with a MIDI controller. So there's three things you're gonna need. One is a microphone with an input. Uh, really? For this, I'm just gonna use a simple dynamic mic, which is probably what most of you guys are using. I'm using the Sennheiser E815S. Second thing is a USB audio interface. I'm using a Steinberg CI1. And the third thing is the ACO driver, or the ACO for all driver. I'm not gonna go into detail about how to set up an ACO driver or how to set up the audio interface. That's pretty standard stuff. Plus there's tutorials all over the internet for that, so you should be right. On a side note as well, I tried to use the direct 3.5 millimeter input to the computer. That will not work. You're gonna need a audio interface or a direct USB input microphone. So here I have the Sennheiser E815S. Before you plug the microphone in, you need to make sure your audio interface is properly installed, as well as the ACO for all driver. You need to make sure you know what input you're putting it into. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get into FL Studio is change your driver from your primary sound driver, which is more than likely what it's going to be on, to your FL Studio ACO driver or the normal ACO for all driver. I'm going to use the FL Studio driver just so I can keep recording on Audacity. All you need to do once you select that is just go into the ACO panel and then select the buffer size based on whatever your CPU can handle. The lower buffer size, the less latency. The less latency basically means how quickly it responds to your input. Then what you want to do from there, once you've got the ACO sorted out, is you're going to want to put your microphone into insert 1, whatever line in you're using. I'm using insert 1. That's annoying, I can hear myself. Right, I'm just going to turn myself down for a sec. I'm using input 1. I did put it into input 2, but I took it out before because my condenser microphone was for some reason taking over my audio interface. So I'm going to use my, I'm just going to use insert 1 for the dynamic. Once you've got it in insert 1, all you need to do is go into insert 2 and put on Vocodex. Go back into insert 1 and then link insert 1 to insert 2 and turn this down. Then you're going to want to open whatever VST you want. I'm going to use Serum. I love Serum. And then from that, you want to put Serum into insert 2, where the Vocodex is. And then I'm going to record on the master so you can hear the vocal effect it's having. Now to actually get the modulation, you're going to want to create a patch. I'm just going to make a really simple detuned saw. So... Hello. And it sh it should it should literally already you should be hearing the carrier effect. Hello. 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 Dun, dun. Basically when you play the keyboard, it's controlling the pitch of the carrier. So when you're talking to the mic and you press a note on the keyboard, the keyboard will be your pitch modulator. Hello. To get the effect you're going to want is you're going to have to turn the band distribution to about 18. Hello. You can already hear like the groaning in it. And you want to put your mod to max, your wet to about there. Hello. Hello. Your draft. You're going to put your draft down. And then this thing here is basically your male female voice. So if you turn it to the left, it'll sound more masculine. Turn it to the right, it'll sound chipmunky slash female, feminine, whatever. So I'm going to turn it about half, maybe just past halfway. You can already hear the Temenite effect just there. Hello, 
You can set multiple voices. Makes it sound more feminine though. Yeah, it makes it sound more feminine. I'm just gonna stick to one. Further to the left. What's cool about this too is you can actually use you can actually use Legato inside Serum to slide the pitch. Cool growls and shit out of it. Anyway, I hope you guys actually learned something out of this. I'm gonna try and make a more regular schedule to release more tutorials. So expect more from this channel soon. Bye.